Hey man, say man, it's your boy Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm back with another video, you know I'm rocking me, y'all can rock with me. Hey gang, like the video right now, bruh. Like the video right now, bro. I stay gonna be a free game, yeah. Give me a free game like in this video. Alright, so guys, a like go for this video is 300 likes. Give me that 300 likes, you know what I'm saying? Look, you still watching the video, you ain't even like it, right? So in this video, we're gonna talk about five things to understand about women before 18, right? So the first one is, right? In most cases, girls do not care if you use a condom or not, right? I am 24 years old, right? And I'll tell you right now, in my whole lifetime, probably five girls ask me, do you have a condom? And my body count is 58. But they'll sit here all day and say, oh, men are dirty dogs, men are pigs, men are pigs. Let me tell you something, guys. Girls are worse than men by a milestone. But the thing is, right, we're not emotional. So we don't sit there and be like, oh, woman ain't shit, this and that. You know what I'm saying? They're very emotional beings. So when we do something effed up to them, they want to go post about it on social media, this and that, and express their feelings. Us men are less emotional. So we don't really complain about their crappy ways or sit there and cry like they do. Let me tell you something. If a girl really likes you, bro, and she's in the heat of the moment, she just want to get straight to business. And then you know what they're going to tell you? Their favorite line is, oh, I'm allergic to condoms. It don't feel the same, etc." But guys, let me tell you something. Just because it's pretty on the outside, don't mean it's pretty on the inside. You know what I'm saying? I done heard stories of people getting, you know, STDs, gonorrhea, the clap and all of that, bro. And you don't want to be a part of that lineup. But now I ain't going to sit here and lie to y'all like I ain't never take my chances. I probably took my chances like eight times my whole lifetime. But me, raw sex, that shit scares the fuck out of me. I don't care how pretty the girl is. Yeah, I ain't going for it. And also, I ain't trying to get a crazy chick pregnant. Because I'm from the inner city. I'm from the hood. So I see dudes deal with crazy baby mothers all the time, bro. And you will never know a woman is crazy until she's pregnant or she have your baby. And you don't want to be on child support. I'll tell you that right now. And you don't want to be stuck with a girl for life. And yes, life, not just to the kids 18, you get what I'm saying? Because you still got to see them at birthday parties for grandkids and, and all of that, you know what I'm saying? The next thing is, right, do not chase women. Become the man that women want. Guys, when you obtain and acquire uh, success, women are going to chase you and they will put up with more of your BS. You get what I'm saying? Y'all sitting here chasing women while they're chasing a the successful man. A woman rather be with a rich cheater than a broke Loyal man. Woman was put on earth to chase mental resources. A man that can level her life up. Not to be with a dude on the even playing field. And the crazy part is, most men are going to be average. But always strive for greatness and success. Keep trying to level up. Just because most men are average, don't mean you're going to be average. If you put in double the work of the other men I put it in, you will reach the pinnacle of success. You know what I'm saying? Going to the gym every day. Acquiring more assets. Leveling up in the corporate world, it's very possible. Just don't get complacent. I tell you right now, right? If I'm chilling with a girl and a rich dude slide on her DM or try to pull up on her, right? I'm just an average dude. She probably won't go in that moment, but she gonna go eventually. It's just female nature. That's why I tell you, dudes, when you learn female nature, bro, you just accept things for what it is. So if a rich dude came and took my bitch, bro, I can't even be mad at this shit. The third thing is. Do not share your weaknesses with females, bro. If you have childhood trauma, you're depressed, you're going through anxiety, do not let your girl know. Very few women are equipped to deal with a man's emotions. You got to think about it. Women are emotional beings, right? They are all over the place, right? As a man, you're supposed to be in full control of your emotions, right? If something happens, if something happens, you're supposed to just take it. Take it to the chin. See, that's the thing I love about boxing, right? Y'all all know I box, right? Anytime I'm going through life issues, bro, I be like, bro, if you're strong enough to get punched by grown ass men who hit hard, right? 180 pounds to 215, right? Because I spar guys 210, 200, you know what I'm saying? You're strong enough to deal with life issues, you know what I'm saying? So I always keep that shit in the back of my head. So if you're going through shit, bro, and you can't get professional help, talk to your father, talk to your uncle, talk to your guy best friends, bro. Never consult with a female unless you're telling her your issues like, babe, this is what's going on and you have a solution behind it. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to fix it. But never go to a female to help you with your issues, bro. As a man, you was put on earth to be a problem solver. How is she going to trust you to lead and shit if you're going to hurt for little issues? Like, bro, that's not manly like. And then a lot of y'all be like, oh, I opened up to her, this and that. She used it against me. No shit, you was being a bitch. Like, yo, in 2021, right? I went through some deep shit, right? And two of my female friends, like, they'll always check up on me. Like, yo, like, what you going through this and that? I'm like, I'm good, bro. I'm going to be good in the month. I ain't open up to them for what? And yeah, motherfucker, I said female friend. I ain't in no friend zone. 
Never tried nothing with them. Don't have any interior motives. You know what I'm saying? The only dudes that can't be friends with a female is the dudes that get no girls. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like when any attractive girl gives them attention, they fall for them. But the thing is, I deal with attractive girls all the time. Now, the next thing is, right? Never listen to her words, listen to her actions, right? So over the past week, you know, I rekindled things with her old fling, right? She kept saying how my content is misogynistic. We can never be because she believes in marriage and I don't. But, you know, I still de it and I was still getting topped off in the midst of this. But anyway, this is the same girl, right? Three years ago, a YouTuber flew her out for a video and she fucked him. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't care, right? And then last year, she went on a famous podcast and then she was chilling with the dudes after and shit. Went to Sway Lee's house and shit. And I'm like, bro, you're a groupie, bro. You're not wifey material. And once I tried to ask her her body count, she said it was in the 20s or something. I'm like, bro, a woman decides, a woman decides that she's going to be a wife at 18, bro, or a whore. She wants to be a wife, but she's a hoe. It makes no sense, bro. She wants to be a wife, but on Instagram, she's half naked everywhere. It just makes no sense, bro. Real wifey material girls do not do that, bro. Like, I got a female friend, right? She's beautiful, 10 out of 10. And she probably got two bikini pictures on Instagram, bro. The rest is conservative, dressed up pictures, and she still looks sexy, bro. I'm telling you, bro, if you really that girl, bro, you could dress up and still get likes and attention. Now, the next one is, right? Embrace rejection. Guys, when a girl rejects you, don't take it personal. That's God's way of telling you, brother. You got to level up. You're just not that dude yet. You know what I'm saying? I just take it as, you know what? Maybe I don't reach your standards. It's all right, bro. I'm going to keep leveling up. And guess what? They all spin back. Now, how do I know? Because ever since the TikTok shit took off and shit, bro, girls be spinning back. They'll follow me on Instagram. They probably don't, you know, slide in my DM, but they watch every single story. And in her head, it's like, damn, I can't fucking DM him. I fucked up. I missed my opportunity. You know what I'm saying? But she going to watch your stories. She going to like your stories in the hopes of you DMing her, bro. But don't fall for this shit, bro. If you wasn't good enough back then, why are you good now? Like a lot of YouTubers be like, oh, she rejected me in the past, but I'm still going to fuck her. Like, bro, she don't deserve none of your energy, bro. A real woman, she would have fucked with you back then on your come up. But you wasn't good enough then. She wanted the other guys. So guys, embrace rejection. Anytime a girl rejects you, bro, just use it as fuel to go harder. You get what I'm saying? She's chasing the asshole, right? If you're in high school, bro, let me tell you something. The popular kids that smoking weed, selling drugs, they're not going to be shit in life. But that quiet nerd who's mad smart getting straight A's, those be the dudes in life, right? That go on to be multi-millionaires, owning businesses, having real estate portfolios, right? So don't feel bad like, oh, I'm not cool in high school. I don't sell drugs. They don't like me, guys. Your time is coming. Go to college, get a degree, you know, start that business. And in your early 20s, bro, build that body. And then when you're 25, bro, you're going to be lit. Wasn't lit in high school. But there's still space to grow. And guess what? A man don't hit his prime until he's 30 to 35, bro. So if you're a youngin' right now and you feel like a failure, you're 23, you're not, bro. Keep going. Keep pushing. We all striving out here, bro. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. And I never will be perfect. A woman, her prime is in her 20s. That's why at 30, when you go on Tinder, oh, I'm looking for a husband. If you're not trying to be serious, this and that, come on, bro. But yeah, that's all for today, man. It's your boy, Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully I told you something in this video. You know I'm rocking with y'all care, rock on me. Hey, gang, like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm. Comment video ideas I want to talk about. You know I see all your comments. Oh, hold up. If y'all want to book a one-on-one, -on -one, comment below with your Instagram name and I DM you. You know how you be see all your comments and your boy how you be out. Oh.